it's a struggle to make films like this. It requires a lot of personal commitment and, and effort, but it's, it, it is also very rewarding and it's a great kind of privilege to be able to tell these stories. It's Carpenter moving away from the field. If you thought the 20.94 was a fluke, look at the clock. My name is Mike Todd. I'm the uh, director of the film Roadrunners. My name is Lathan Hodge. I'm an executive producer on Roadrunners. Roadrunners is the story of uh, a group of high school athletes in Jamaica, and it's it's about growing up in Jamaica and the the challenges that can bring, especially from the kind of the background of the neighbourhood they're from. But it's also about the significance that track and field has in Jamaica and athletics and specifically the event champs which is like the national high school athletics championship the, the competition is of such high quality that each year the organizing committee for the championships has to revise upwards the, the standards because many of these students are from poor background and by virtue of doing exceptionally well in these championships is one of the means by which they can gain uh, scholarships to the United States of America and colleges and universities here in Jamaica. I grew up in Chicago. Music, sports, uh, I know in, in, in my community it was one of those things where I was always trying to, that was a way out for a lot of folks and I always saw the impact it could make in the, in the lives of those people and the people around them. I saw that, that story replay over and over in Chicago growing up many, many times. And then when I moved to Washington, D.C., I saw that same story. Again, it's a constant story. We just found Spot Valley High School, and we found Karen Grant, who was the coach in the film, and he had these kids who came from the neighborhood. We go out together, we laugh together, we eat together, we cook together, we share jokes together, we share our problems together. So, you know, we are like family, like father and son. Essentially, we've got a very narrow window of opportunity that they can exploit. Very limited uh, chance to really show what they could be capable of and change the life through their own effort. And, and running is, in Jamaica for some people, it's, the, it's that pathway. We filmed with Leone, one of the young athletes. She was, uh, I think she was 16 when we were filming her. Her father was a, uh, a fisherman. I'm Byron, nice to meet you. Welcome to Jamaica. He went out on his fishing boat, which was uh, quite an experience. We were just in the middle of, of the ocean and like, the, 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 engine, <laughs> the engine quit. And so we were just floating there with like, and it started again. <laughs> but it was a very intimate slice of life, I think, to be able to go out there on that mini fishing trip. I know she's going to be a champion for Jamaica. You, 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 all you do, you try to do the best you can because we're only here for a time. That's actually one of my favorite scenes because it's, it's definitely father daughter is really a special special moment. Fishing in Chuck and Field, she love it like one. But she love fishing more than Chuck and Field. But I said, get famous, go in Chuck and Field, whatever, whatever. You never know. Big up, big up, my dad. Poor fish. Come sir. Poor fish. I think you, you would struggle to meet uh, some kind of nicer teenagers than you met or we met during the, the filming, you know. There was a kind of a, as I say, a, a, there was like a steely determination, but very, very down to earth, really not the kind of boisterous confidence you might see in teenage athletes or sports stars elsewhere in the world. They were um, very single-minded, but kind of quietly confident in their ability, and but not taking anything for granted because there was a very thin line, really, for them between success and failure. And I mean, if you see, you look at the footage we've got uh, of the event at Champs, how many of the teenagers are falling over with injuries, and because um, it's it's so desperate, it's so desperate to succeed. The final of three semi-finals. 
class two girls. I do think there is there is something about the kind of the, the structured competition that sport provides and the opportunity to the kind of empowerment it can it can provide in many ways that Jamaica specifically the economic opportunity it can bring it. It's a very, very dramatic world sport. It's filled with kind of stories of triumph and failure and drama. It's kind of an inspiration as well just to see that desire to succeed and, and to kind of make your mark in the world. Those are the top three. Who will hold on?